Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Oh, who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, my darlings. Come on, let's get busy. Bring over all that box. Well done, you two. It's heavy, isn't it? I've got all this mess in this box from all my sporty things and it all needs sorted into piles. <laughs> what do you think goes with the football, Gary? The football boots. What's that? Are they for your elbows? So when you're skating and you fall, you don't get your elbows all scraped. So you put that with that. And look at those funny wee gloves. Do you like them? <laughs> Me too. They go with the cricket bat. Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson. Yes, with Dr. Juno. Hello there, Dr. Juno. Oh, and my Samson. Come and say hello to Samson. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Oh, I think that's enough patting. To your basket, Samson. Good boy. <laughs> You'll get a good view while they dress Claude up as a roller skater. Oh, why don't we roller skate over to the chairs? <laughs> I saw some people wearing helmets and pads on my way here today. Oh. They were roller skating. You look like great fun. Oh, it is. It's the latest craze to sweep River Sea Fingal. And I've noticed that you've joined the skate craze too, Granny Murray. No, I didn't want to miss out. <laughs> I'm taking the children to a roller skate club later too. Oh, I didn't realise there was a roller skating club in River Sea Fingal. Sounds like great fun. Oh, it is. <gasps> and the children all get to wear a roller skate club badge too. Here you are. Very cool. <laughs> oh, that's a spare one. You can have it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I would really love to have a go on your skateboard, Granny Murray. Come on, then. <laughs> Here goes. <Whee! laughs> well done. I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 careful. Oh, oh are you all right, Doctor, do you know? <laughs> yes, Granny Murray, it was a soft landing. Oh, do you know, they can be dangerous things. That's why you need to wear your protective pads. Play safe. Play well, that's what I always say. Well, enough playing for me for the moment. I better get to work. <laughs> hey, looks like Claus joined the craze too. <laughs> well done, my flowers. I'll just say bye to Samson. Oh, bye bye, Samson. Be a good boy. <laughs> Come on, then. See you guys. <laughs> now remember, play safe. Play well. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. <gasps> Will you keep a wee eye on Dr. Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Cycling through all the city views Ringing my bell and singing my song Pedaling my way as I cycle along Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my cycling time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. Do I go up now? Do I go down? 
Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh, yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. All scrubbed and ready. Come in. Hello, Dr. Juno. How's things? Very good, thanks. How are you? Are you ill? Oh, no, 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 no. I came here to get a chart for my class. What sort of chart? I want a chart to show the children why people come into hospital. That's a great idea. Thank you. How about one column for falling over? Yes, I'll call that tumbles. And another column for feeling unwell. Feeling unwell. Sometimes people come into hospital just for a checkup. You know, just to make sure that they're okay. Checkup? I think one more will do it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry about that. Well, that might be because you're allergic to grass that makes your nose tickle. That's it. The final column. Allergies. Allergies. So, how would you like me to fill this in? Well, if you can put a sticker in the correct column for each person who comes into the hospital. Oh, all right. Thanks, Dr Juno. The children are going to be so excited. I'll come back later to see how you're getting on. OK, see you later then. Bye. Bye-bye. Samson's getting on at the roller skate club. Oh, we're a bit loaded up here, aren't we? Taxi! Oh, that was lucky! Hi there! <coughs> Hello! <laughs> now, let me give oh, you this. Pushed. Thank you. Oh! oh. <laughs> you just give me that. There we are. <laughs> Thanks, Tina. Now, are you going to the roller skating club? How did you guess? Well, the roller skates were a wee bit of a giveaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and is Samson going roller skating too? Oh, no, no. <laughs> now you lot, come on. In we go, seatbelts on, keep yourself safe. And you too, Samson. Mm -hmm. Dr Juno. Is there someone to see me? Yes, he's in the examination room. Oh, and he says he knows you. Really? I wonder who that could be. Raymond! Hello, Dr Juno. What's happened? I was at the roller skate club. I bent over to get my elbow pads out of my back. You weren't wearing your elbow pads? No. <sighs> But I was perfectly balanced. Perfectly. Tina would have been proud of me. But then I, I wobbled, and then I spun around, oh. and then I... Oh, ah, oh. Take a seat, Raymond. Come on. And then I, I, I nearly fell over, and then I tried to stop, and then I, I did fall over. Settle down, Raymond. Let me have a look. Can you wiggle your fingers? <laughs> oh. Well, you seem to be fine. You've had a nasty knock on your elbow, and I think it's going to be quite sore for a while, so no more rollerblading until you're better, OK? Oh, oh, that's one for the chart. He was rollerblading, so that comes under tumbles. Well, I better get on with my work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. 
rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Oh, oh! Another rollerblade. Here you are. That's another spot on the tumbles column on the chart. Everyone's been rollerblading. So there might be a few more spots to add to that column. I wonder how Samson's getting on at the roller skate club. Right, Raffi, let me check your hat, darling. Oh, well done. Nice and safe. Now, Granny Murray will put hers on. That's Granny Murray ready to go. Who wants to go skating? <laughs> me too. Come on. Ready, Samson? Boys! Yeah. We better watch we don't fall. <laughs> oh, this is great, isn't it, Sam? Doctor Juno would love it. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Juno. How's the chart going? Oh, hello, Mickey Don. Well, I feel doing quite a bit of it. I hope it helps. Let's have a look, then. Well, there's a huge peak in tumbles. So I see. That section's way ahead of the others. This really is a crisis situation, Mickey John. All I've done all day is to treat people who've been roller skating. Where did the time go? At 8 o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's house for the day. The children were busy sorting out sports clothes and finding all the protective pads for each sport. Granny Murray told me they would be going to the roller skating club later, and she gave me a really cool badge. At 10 o'clock, Mickey John called in to ask me to help him make a chart showing while people come into hospital. We decided on four columns, tumbles, feeling ill, checkups, and allergies. At 11 o'clock, Raymond was in the examination room. He had hurt his arm when he fell over on his rollerblades. At 2 o'clock, when Mickey John called to see me, we realised that we had a crisis situation. There is a big peak in the tumbles column on the chart. Now remember, play safe, play well. That must be it. People have not been playing safe. We need to make the city play safe and well. But how? Posters showing them how to play safe. Come on, it's race against time. I've got to do it, I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it, I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bong. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, she will she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it She's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it She's gonna start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song No roller skating tumbles my post-it campaign must be working! <laughs> Play safe. Do you like Dr. Juno's poster, Samson? <laughs> Here, Samson. Hello, Samson. Uh -huh. Good boy. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. Play safe, play well. It saved the day. It never did. <laughs> Come on now, you'll want to be all. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about and I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting.
Buying, sharing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing around. Picking up and putting down. Then there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, making, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning. was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a roller skater because the children and I were going to the roller skate club with Samson. Dr Juno had to go on my skateboard. I gave her one of my special roller skate club badges. We had so much to carry that we needed a taxi to take us to the skate club. It was lovely to chat to Tina. At the roller skate club, we put on all our protective gear so that we could play safe and we had a wonderful time. There was an obstacle course for us to skate around with roundabouts and traffic cones to weave in and out of. It was such good fun and Samson really enjoyed leading the way. Dr Juno made some fantastic posters to remind people to play safe, play well, so there wouldn't be any tumbles visiting the hospital. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Stephen and we've got Megan. But don't just sit there, my wee cream buns. Come on, let's play. Pass the parcel. Go. That's well done. Stop! I'm going. Is you, Stephen? You take off some paper. No, you've not won. No. And play. I'll not look. Oh! Oh, it's Stephen again. <laughs> right. Oh, we making maybe this time it's you. Who is going to win? We've got Stephen and we've got Megan, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Money? Who's that? Yes, it's Samson with Dr Juno. Hello there, Dr Juno. Hello, I'm Samson. Come on, boy. Good boy. Come on. Come and see Granny. That's the way. Come and say hello to Samson, oh, everyone. Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, <laughs> gentle now, my Oh, darling. I see somebody's been unwrapping a present. Oh, yes. We've been having a present-giving day today. We're going to give Edith the lollipop lady a present. Oh, she deserves it. She's such a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> How about stopping the pats and dressing Claude up as Edith the lollipop lady? Good idea, Granny Murray. Into your basket, Samson. Oh, I'll get a good view of Claude from there. And I'll tidy up some of this wrapping paper and give us a seat. I love scrunching wrapping paper. Can you help me? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All done. So, you're giving Edith the lollipop lady a present, are you? Yes, it's a new computer game. Oh, she loves her computer. Oh, isn't she amazing? She must have been helping children across that road to that primary school for yonks. Oh, I remember her when I was a little girl. Yes, she's been helping children to cross safely for years. I know, she's always so kind and cheerful. She let me hold a lollipop once. Ah, well, you see, that's why we're giving her a present. A good deed deserves thanks. Too right, Granny Murray. Well, how about giving her a photo of Claude dressed like that? <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Megan. Oh, wow, Claude. You'll be off to Edith's job next. And wait, he's got something in his pocket. <gasps> What's this? It's a leaflet about crossing the road safely. You take that with your poppet. Oh, thank you, Granny Murray. Right, I better be off to work. Bye, Samson. <coughs> be good for Granny Murray. <laughs> now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. Will you keep a wee eye on Dr Juno? Make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm in a bit of a hurry today. Which is the best way to work? Thank you. I'm in a need in a hurry. I really, really need to speak to work. I'll take 
take a take a ticket on the tramway. I'll be 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 there quite quick. Hurry 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 on the tram lines. Clutter 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 at the points. Whining 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 drives the speed up. Squeaker 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 slows us down. Clutter 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 through the speaker squeaker squeaker to a stop. I'm in the need. to get changed. All dressed and ready to go. Oh, I'll read this road safety leaflet later. Hmm, ten o'clock. Oh, Nurse Hendry, any patients yet? Uh, yes, we're quite busy actually, and there's a case I think you may want to take. Right, lead the way. Hello, Raymond. Oh, hello. Hello. What's happening with Jack and Lisa? Well, and Jack came over to play with Lisa. We were jumping on the bed and we bumped our heads. So you were playing kangaroos, were you? Yes. Oh, dear. We'll just have to check them over. Let's have a look. Have you guys got any headaches? No. Oh, that's good. Could you tell me what you had for breakfast? Cornflakes and yoghurt. Oh, that's nice. Butter and toast. OK, that's nice too. Do you mind if I just check your eyes? Yes. Okay. I mean, no. Oh. OK. Good boy. There we go. Well done. Let's have a look. Good girl. Well, you've got no concussion, just two black eyes. We'll just have to put some ice packs on your eyes, won't we? <laughs> OK, Doc. Well, you both be right as rain in a couple of days, but there's a little lesson to learn here. Don't jump on the beds. Got that? Yes, Doctor General. Good. Right, I'll just leave you in the capable hands of Nurse Hendry. See you later. Well, I hope young Master Sampson is behaving himself for Granny Murray and not jumping up and down on her bed. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle by the sea. I love to skip in Riversy Pingle, Riversy Pingle, that's for me. Stand here, darling. Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Morning, my little sparkler. Morning. All ready to cross the road? Yeah. Me too. Come on in, darling. Come on, Angel. <laughs> in ya. This is for me and Samson. Oh, is it a present for yeah. me? It's to say thank you for being so kind and generous, Edith. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Samson. Dr Juno would be so proud of you. Not interrupting, am I? Oh, Raymond, come in. Have oh. a seat. So... Are Lisa and Jack OK now? Oh, they're fine. Actually, I just wanted to thank you for looking after them so well. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow, <laughs> you shouldn't have. This is fantastic. Oh, a little doggy. It's great. Oh, I'll put it right here next to my photo of Samson. Oh, thank you, Raymond. Oh, it's my pleasure. You deserve it. Ta-ta. <laughs> oh, bye, Raymond. Right, this will never do. I better get down to some hard work. <laughs> it's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. It's so exciting in the hospital. Trolleys gliding patients through the corridors. Flashing blue lights right up to the I'm rushing here and there to be here I'm rushing here and there Oh yeah I'll be there to comfort you at all times I'll be there to see all is fine I'll be there whenever I'm needed Yeah To hear the heart Doctors, you 
rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be here. Ooh, it's been a really hard morning so far. Oh, look. Claw's road safety leaflet. Let's have a look. Find a safe place to cross the road and stop at the curb. Look all around for traffic and listen. Oh, wait until it's safe to cross and let the traffic pass. Ooh. Oh, walk across the road, don't run. Keep looking and listening out for traffic. Oh, arrive alive. That way, you won't end up in my hospital, will ya? <laughs> I hope Samson's stopping and looking and listening. Good boy, Granny Murray. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. Oh, oh. he's a clever dog. Well done, Samson. Oh, wait till we tell Doctor. Do you know how good you've been? Oh, I can't wait to see you later, Samson. <laughs> You've been working so hard all day, Dr Juno, but it's quieting down a bit now, so I've made you some tea. Oh, my hero. That's just what I needed. <laughs> and some of your favourite biscuits, too. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Oh, oh, your beaker. Oh, must be a new patient. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. You drink your tea. <laughs> oh. Actually, I think you better come and sort this out after all, Dr Juno. Coming. Your dog saved Ben from running out on the road, so I brought you a little present. Oh, um, thank you. Bye. Oh, I'm so glad Samson saved Ben. Oh. Everything all right, Doc? Oh, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Oh, I have a funny feeling something's not quite right. Like what? Um, I don't know. Something. Um, oh, I can't work it out. Hmm. I've been working really hard all day, but I have a funny feeling I've got to do something. But what? Where did the time go? At nine o'clock, I dropped off Samson at Granny Murray's. Granny Murray told me she was taking Samson to give a present to Edith, the lollipop lady, to say thank you for being so kind and cheerful. At ten o'clock, I got to work. Nurse Henry asked me to see two patients, Lisa and Jack. They'd been bouncing on the bed and bumped their heads. The naughty pickles. They were soon OK, though. At 11 o'clock, Raymond gave me a lovely toy dog as a thank you present for looking after Lisa and Jack. It reminded me of Samson. Then, at 1 o'clock, I learnt all about crossing the road safely from Claude's special leaflet. Stop, look and listen. At 2 o'clock, Ben's mum brought me a present to say thank you. At the park, Samson had saved Ben from running out into the road but I still can't work out what it is I should be doing. Now remember, a good deed deserves thanks. A good deed deserves thanks. <gasps> That's it! I knew there was something I hadn't done. I need to say thank you to Samson for being such a clever dog. I'm coming, my waggy friend. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. Gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? Yes, I'm sure she'll get there in the end Because she knows what she should do I'm gonna do it She's gonna do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime What are you doing here? Well, I just had to pop round to give Samson a special present as a thank you for being such a clever dog and for being my special waggy friend. Oh, come on in. Oh, no, no, no. I'm due back at the hospital, but I will pop back to pick him up later. OK, bye-bye, okay. darling. Well, I do hope Samson enjoys his special present while I finish up at work. 
Oh, I wonder what your present could be, Samson. <gasps> Let's see. Oh, it looks like a... A bone. There you go. You wouldn't want your tea when Dr. Juno comes to pick you up later. Dr. Juno, come away in. Samson, look at here. Hey, good boy. Did you have a nice time with Granny Murray? Oh. Samson wants to say thank you. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. I remembered what you said. A good deed deserves thanks. It saved the day. Oh, gracious! Come on now, you'll want to be off. Come on, Samson. Bye-bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, waking, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, rocking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, painting, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. really special about today. Well, Claude was dressed as Edith, the lollipop lady, because the children and I wanted to give Edith a special present. It was to say thank you to Edith for helping the children to cross the road safely all these years. Afterwards, we took Samson for a run in the park. He started to bark at little Ben and I thought Samson was being naughty, but he wasn't. He was barking to stop Ben running out onto the road. What a clever dog! Ben's mum took Dr Juno a special present to say thank you. Dr Juno brought the special present round for Samson because she remembered that a good deed deserves thanks. Samson loved his present. A big juicy bone. Look what the children gave me today as a thank you for looking after them. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. <coughs> Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Gary and we've got Rachel. But don't just sit there, darlings. Come on, let's have some fun. What's in Granny Murray's shelves today? Animals, Rachel, come on then. One, two, three, squeeze. Oh. Do you like playing with cuddly toys? Me too. <laughs> well, we've got Rachel and we've got Gary, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Samson with Dr. Juno. Hello, dear. Oh, and my Samson. Come on, then. Clever boy. Clever boy. Oh, come and say hello to Samson. Oh, Samson, look who's come to say hello. Oh, that's a wee nice and gentle. He loves coming here, Granny Murray. Oh, and we love having him. Oh, I think that's enough patting. To your basket, Samson. Good boy. Oh, here, why don't you see how many rosettes you can find and stick them all over Claude? <laughs> oh, where is that, Granny Murray? Come over here and I'll tell you, darling. <laughs> so, what special thing are you doing today, Granny Murray? <gasps> well, I'm going to take Samson and the children to see the Fetic Cathedral Hall. <laughs> ah, that explains the rosettes. Oh, I love seeing all the colourful stalls at a fet. But of course, the highlight for me at any fetch, the tea room. Oh, all those delicious homemade scones and cakes for sale. Oh, but you seem to do really well at all the competitions, Granny Murray. Judging from those rosettes, you've won masses. Oh, no. But of course, our Samson will be bringing home the prize-winning rosette today. 
Um, Samson, why? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I've entered Samson in the best groomed pet competition. Oh dear. Samson's not looking his best at the moment, I'm afraid. I've hardly had the chance to really give him a good brush for a few days and I've not given him a bath either. Oh, well, there's no need for anyone to be left out. I'll just enter him for the most obedient pet competition instead. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> Samson's very obedient. He'll do anything you tell him to. He'll wag his tail when I pat him, he'll sit still if I tell him to, and he can chase the stick. Plus, he does a few tricks too. If you pull out your hand and say, shake hands, he'll lift up his paw for you. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I won't win any prizes for timekeeping. I better dash to work pronto. <laughs> Here you are, Claude, a final rosette for the best dressed mannequin. Oh, well done, you lot. Here, hey, Claude, you've won a lot of trigger. rosettes, Claude. Oh, thank you. That's very kind. But what's it for? For being a great doctor. Oh, thank you. Bye, Samson. <coughs> Bye, everyone. <laughs> Just remember, there's no need for anyone to be left out. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Bye-bye, my darling. I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep an eye on Dr Juno and make sure she goes the right way to work. I'm on my way. So fine, I so enjoy my cycling time. I always go the way I know. Can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Hey! Okay, left to the hospital. I'm on my way. Work today, looking this way and that away. Hello, policeman. Hello, boss. Hello, postman. Hello, shops. Hello, lamppost. Hello, stop. She's on her way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hey! Do I go up now? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Hey! Okay, down. You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Ooh, I've arrived. Fab. So, what's next? Oh yes, I've got to put my scrubs on. Rubbed and ready to go. Fingers crossed Samson wins a resort today. Hi, Dr. Juno. Files, files and more files. Oh, that should keep both of us busy for the rest of the day. Not me. It's my half day today, remember? I'm going to the Fate at Cathedral Halls. Not you too. Am I the only one that's missing out on this fun? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll tell you all about it over lunch tomorrow. I'm hoping to win the cake baking competition. You baked a cake? Yes, from my own very special recipe. Well, what's so special about this recipe then? It's delicious. Hmm, sounds yummy. Yummy, yes, but it's special because it hasn't got any eggs, milk or nuts. No eggs, milk or nuts? That's unusual. As I say, it's a very special recipe. Well, this is one cake I've got to try. Here's the recipe. Oh, thanks. And here's the cake. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And it tastes even better. Well, one day, when I have the time, I'll bake this no eggs, no milk, no nuts cake. <laughs> See you later. Oh, good luck at the cake competition. I hope you win a rosette. Me too. Oh, Samson. I hope you win a rosette too. I love to skip in River Sipping, River Sipping, go by the sea. I love to skip in River Sipping, River Sipping, go that's for me. Samson. Good boy! Get the stick for Granny Murray! Woo! Get the sticks! <laughs> Samson! <laughs> Come on! Oh! 
<laughs> I think Dr. Juno's been exaggerating your obedience skills, boy. Dr. Juno, Mickey John's just arrived with his next door neighbour and her daughter Lucy. I think she has an allergy. Could you take a look at her? Oh, of course. That's what I'm here for. Oh, Dr. Juno, we're worried about Lucy. Hello, Lucy. Let's have a look at you. She's got this rash, see, and a tingly mouth. Say, ah, uh, hmm. Everything seems a okay. Must have been a false alarm. She was quite upset, you know, what with the rash and the tingly mouth. Well, I'd like to check it out a little bit further, if that's okay. We had all intended on going to the fete. Well, before Lucy can go anywhere else, we need to run a few tests to make sure she's not allergic to anything. Sure. Whatever you say, Doc. We'll book an appointment at the allergy department, just to get to the bottom of all the rashes. I'll organise that, Dr. Juno. Great. See you later, Lucy. Right. Now down to some hard work. It's so exciting in the hospital. It's where the people who are ill get well. Machines are buzzing to give us a thrill. I'm rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there to be Rushing here and there to be here. I'm rushing here and there. Oh yeah. I'll be there to comfort you at all times. I'll be there to see all is fine. I'll be there whenever I'm needed. Yeah. To hear the heart. a good morning's work. Twelve o'clock. Hmm. I think I'll pop up to the allergy department to see how Mickey, John and Lucy are getting on. Can I just see her up? That's great. How's it going? Thank you. What's she doing? The doctor's just popping a drop onto Lucy's arm. That drop has a little something in it that can tell us what Lucy's allergic to. Children might be allergic to pollen, grass, milk, eggs, cats, dogs. She's going to do that with a different bottle for a different allergy. Normally there'll be a little red patch on Lucy's arm if she's allergic to anything in the droplets. Now we just have to wait about 15 minutes to see if there's a reaction on the skin. 15 minutes? That's great. Mm -hmm. We should be able to get her along to enjoy the fate after all. Must be well underway by now. Yes. I wonder how Samson's getting along at the competition. I love to skip the river sea thingo, river sea thingo, that's for me. You have to concentrate, Samson. Are you ready? We know you can wag your tail, but now you have to retrieve, OK? <laughs> Go! Fetch, Samson! Come on! Fetch it, Samson! Come on! Fetch for Granny Money! <laughs> oh, you, you monkey! <laughs> what will Dr Juno say? <laughs> Here's Lucy's results. They're all next door. Thank you, Nurse Hendry. Oh, looks interesting. How are we doing, Doc? Not much of a problem, Lucy. Just one allergy, as I thought. What is it? Nuts. Lucy's got a nut allergy. Oh, thank goodness. It would have been a shame if Lucy was allergic to dogs. Well, the advice is really quite simple. Mum, just make sure you check all the ingredients when you buy food, just in case they've got nuts in them. One bite in Lucy will definitely come out with a nasty rash. 
Okay, and just make sure that you carry all the medicine around with you at all times, just in case she accidentally eats anything with nuts in them. Thanks, Doctor. Right, you can all go to the fete and pet as many dogs as you like, eh, Lucy? <laughs> Smash in! <laughs> But remember, Lucy's allergic to nuts, which means she won't be able to eat any of the cakes of the fate, just in case they've got nuts in them. <laughs> no, no. Poor Lucy, she's going to be so disappointed. She was looking forward to having a bit of cake with her mum. How can we solve this? I'm sorry, Mickey John. I wish I could help. But I've been working hard all day trying to solve problems. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Samson off at Granny Murray's house. While I was there, Granny Murray reminded me about Samson being entered for a competition at the Fate. I hoped he might win a lovely rosette like the one the children gave to me. At 8 o'clock, I arrived at the hospital. Nurse Hendry showed me the cake he was entering for the cake baking competition at the Fate. The cake looked delicious. At 9 o'clock, Mickey John arrived with his neighbour and her daughter, Lucy. After examining her, I made an appointment for the hospital allergist to see her that afternoon. At 12 o'clock, the allergist tested Lucy for different types of allergies with the help of a skin prick test. At 1 o'clock, the results of the allergy test came back. Lucy was allergic to nuts. I'd help solve that problem for Lucy, but how can I solve the problem of working out which cake Lucy can eat to the fake tea rooms today? Now remember, there's no need for anyone to be left out. Granny Murray was right. There's no need for anyone to be left out. Lucy can go to the fete and enjoy a slice of cake too. Oh! I'll tell you how. We are going to make a nut-free cake for you to take to the fete tea rooms. It's a race against time. I've got to do it. I've got to do it. I've got to beat the clock before the chime. I've got to sort it. I've got to sort it. I've got to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think she's going to do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will she know how to fix it? Will she finish what she has begun? It's a show to your friends, she will get there in the end Because she knows what she should do, I'm working for I'm gonna do it, she's going to do it I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime I'm gonna start it, she's going to start it I'm gonna do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that Have fun at the fate. One nut free cake on its way to the fate. <laughs> there we are, all ready for Sarah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, well done, Samson. Come on, boy. That says, come on. Oh, good boy. You might not be the most obedient dog, but you've certainly got the waggiest tail. Dr. Juno would be so proud. <laughs> Dr. Juno, come our way through and you come. Come and see who's here, Samson. Hello, Samson. <laughs> Look at that wagging tail. Oh, he was fabulous. Samson would like to say thank you, Granny Murray, and thank you from me too. I remembered what you said. There's no need for anyone to be left out. You saved the day. Oh, oh, oh gracious. Come on now. You'll want to be all. Bye bye, my darlings. I'm looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Samson. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you'll want to know all about my time too. Well, there was laying, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in a lot of rosettes because we were going to the fit and entered Samson for the obedience competition. We spent a lot of time practicing obedience tests with Samson, but he didn't quite understand. Still, he was awarded a rosette after all at the fit for being the dog with the waggiest tail. 
Dr. Juno's nut-free cake went down a treat too. Lucy loved it because there is no reason to be left out. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie.